Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. I have a really cute, almost to size matchbox that I want to share with you today. So cute, look at that. And guess how I made it? Envelope punch board. <clears throat> so here's my envelope punch board. I have a piece of very vanilla card stock that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I'm going to punch and score at the one and a half mark. So punch, score. Now we're going to scoot, boop, and scoot to two and three eighths. And we're going to punch and score. And now all we're going to do is line up our score guide to our score line here and punch and score. So it's pretty simple and you can see that we're building a box because we have two score lines which basically are the sides of the box. Whoops. Okay, so we're gonna round the corners. Fold and burnish the score lines that we have, but we're also gonna make one more fold. So with our paper like this, on the first score line, we're going to fold it and then we're just going to fold it one more time and really burnish that down. And we're going to do that on everything. So the first score line, fold it and then fold it again. And what this is going to do is tuck in our flaps so very neatly and you don't actually have to worry about scoring any more lines or anything like that okay so that's what you should have then with your paper snips we're just going to snip on all of those four corners so snip I like to flip it around and cut on the right hand side probably because I'm predominantly right-handed. So hopefully that's not confusing to anybody. Okay, so normally, um, well, back in the day when I first started doing videos, I used to use Tombow glue all the time. Um, I have since fallen in love with Fast Fuse, so even though many of us have a love-hate relationship with that glue, or adhesive, I should say. But back in the day, I use Tombow a lot and on a small project like this, especially because it's going to be pulled in and out, we want something strong. So I'm going to use Tombow today. It does give you that bit of time to put things into place, but once it is adhered, to your project it is not going to like you'll rip your paper trying to get it to remove so just folding the little box up pressing to get good contact all right so I'm only going to put a little bit of glue on the flaps. You don't need a lot. I mean, it doesn't actually even have to have glue there, but I think it's a nice little touch. It will fold in and stay perfectly fine. So I'm going to fold those guys, the small little bits in first, 
and just with my bone folder get to the corners make sure that your box is square right and then fold down one side and what that's doing is capturing the corners too and then the last one and it is nice that we rounded the corner because look at that lovely finish on the inside I don't know if you can see that but it's got a nice finish so we have a teeny tiny little tray basically oh my god it's so cute okay so now I have some DSP some pattern paper and that's not too bad into sizing so how you punch and score this little box if you're a little bit out or um, you know your score line shifted or something this paper will be a little bit um, it could shift size either way but approximately this is five and an eighth by two and seven eighths and the approximate part is going to be the two and seven eighths part because it might be a little wider or it might be a little smaller so just might be mindful of that make your adjustments to the size of the box that you're making and although initially when I first created this I just sort of put it on top and then went fold 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 but um, I did write down the measurements so hopefully this will work out again um, scoring at one one and five eight uh, three and three eighths and four Okay, fold and burnish on your score line. So. And then basically we want to decide which side is up I think I want to put the glue and since I just have the glue out here I might as well right just one little line of Tombow I'm gonna put my little tray inside use it as a measuring you don't want it to be too tight But you do have that little wiggle room time to square stuff up if it's a funky shape but you can see that it's looking pretty darn good and then what I like to do especially if things are not a hundred percent square I'll make them square right you just fold up that box one way and then you fold it the other way and then the folds are gonna be there the squareness is going to happen. That's a cute little box. Uh, I have, okay, so I fussy cut this sentiment and the sentiment was from All Things Thanks. It's the thank you for welcoming our newest arrival, but obviously um, I just use the thanks. So I fussy cut this out and you know what sometimes punches and that sort of thing they make us lazy and it is nice to take your time fussy cutting to make a little sentiment like that it just pops it rocks this I mean it makes this little box don't you think so cute I love it I really like this paper it, it was complete fluke the way it was cut too so <laughs> 
Thanks so much. Oh, hang on, wait. I have to tell you, this is designer series paper called Cupcakes and Carousels. And really, I, when I saw it in the catalog, I was like, meh. But then I saw it in real life, and I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me, kids. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.